Hi, I'm Adam, a mental health education advocate. And through my nonprofit organization, the Wolf Shanti Children's Wellness Foundation, I teach kids K through 12 mindfulness and social emotional learning. My definition of mindfulness is being focused on the now, without judgment and with kindness to ourselves and others. When we can cope with our emotions and stress and not worry about yesterday or tomorrow, then we can be happier and healthier. There are some misconceptions about mindfulness, like you have to sit a certain way with your eyes closed, which you don't, or that it's a religion, which it's not because it's for everyone, or that you're supposed to become 100% happy, which isn't the goal either. Yes, we want to learn to be more positive and to get to a happier place, but sometimes getting to neutral is okay too. We each have about 50,000 random thoughts going through our head every day, and that's normal. We need to be able to be aware of those thoughts and feelings, acknowledge them without judgment, and let them go. We don't wake up one morning knowing how to be mindful. It's something we train our brain to do, like going to the gym for our bodies. There are so many different kinds of mindful practices. For example, I like to golf and listen to music because it relaxes me. Find one that resonates with you and do it for five minutes every day. So this way, when stressful things happen, you'll already know how to deal with it in a healthy way, and you'll be better able to navigate the ups and downs of life. Something that I like to tell teens especially is that no one even has to know that you're doing a mindful practice. It can be done anywhere at any time, even something as simple as taking some deep breaths or listening to your favorite song. Over 6,000 scientific studies have been done showing that mindfulness helps reduce anxiety and depression, lower blood pressure, increase focus, and helps get better grades and relationships, along with a ton of other mental and physical benefits as well. You don't have to take my word for it, just try it for a few weeks and see how it makes you feel. Remember that every minute is a new opportunity to begin again. If you're practicing and a random thought comes into your mind, release it and begin again. That's totally okay. Today, I want to share the Stress Reduction Card Deck for Teens that I received from Gina Beagle of Stress Teens, where I'm certified from in mindfulness-based stress reduction for teens. There are 52 cards in this deck, and it's separated into Stress Awareness Cards, Mindfulness on the Go Cards, and Take in the Good Cards. I'm going to go through some of them with you right now, so make sure you click on the next video so you can get a glimpse of how this deck of cards may be able to help you learn mindful techniques to deal with your stress and emotions on a daily basis.